I think clearly, according to the rules, uh, you can win um, by a simple majority. But the reality is that these contests have a habit of exposing um, quite how weak uh, the authority of a prime minister is. And, and that is the history of these contests. And I'm afraid for Boris Johnson, that's what happened this time around uh, as well. It doesn't mean you know, that he will have to resign in short order, but it does mean, I think, there will be um, continued doubts about his leadership, particularly, I think, if the by-elections at the end of the month in uh, one solid uh, Conservative seat and one seat which the Conservatives won from Labour in 2019 go as badly as some are predicting. Well, the history for prime ministers who survive confidence votes uh, isn't that great. You look at Theresa May in 2018, in December, uh, she survived that vote actually by a rather bigger margin than did Boris Johnson, uh, and she was gone within um, six months. If we look uh, a little bit further back to a, a slightly different system, but Margaret Thatcher in, in 1990, uh, she survived actually a challenge in 1989, had to uh, undergo another challenge in 1990. She won um, that, that vote, um, but actually with insufficient numbers of votes um, to uh, call the contest off uh, and feeling that you know, she might be challenged by someone with more of a chance of beating her, she actually resigned. The difference, I think, uh, for both uh, Margaret Thatcher and Theresa May is that Essentially, they have the interests of the party and they would argue the country at heart. Uh, many of Boris Johnson's opponents would say that the only interest he has at heart is his own continuation in the job. Uh, so he really will have to be kicked um, out of Downing Street by his, his MPs. He's not going to resign voluntarily.